Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's tutorial is going to be about how to draw another sloth, but this time I'm going to focus more on the sloth's face and try to make more details so that it looks a little bit more on the realistic side. However, this drawing tutorial is going to be based on one of my most popular paintings. I have a painting of a sloth with glasses that's really, really popular, and I think that that would be a really fun thing for y'all to learn how to draw. So, I'm going to start with the eyes. Now, these are going to be a little bit more on the realistic side. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line like that that's like a hill. And then I'm going to make a little tear duct right there. So you can see there's a little tiny hook right there. It's, so, it's super small. And then I am going to make a very round bottom. So you can see this looks pretty round, but there's a little bitty point here and there's a little bitty point here. And I'm going to zoom in on that just so you can see that pretty well. If I could get it to focus. There we go. So now you can see I have a really good point here and a really good point here. And then I have a very, very good curve right there. So now I'm going to zoom back out so that we don't get confused about how close I am to the paper. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And I want to go ahead and make sure that there's a pretty good amount of space between these eyes. So I would say the distance that I'm going to go is about the same distance as if I went like across this eye. So like that would be the same distance as across the eye. And then I'm going to go over about a half. So I'm going to draw a notch. I would say that's two fingers across. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Just like that. Now again, I think this one's a little bit bigger than this one. So I'm just going to make this one a little bit bigger to match. And I think that should work out pretty well. They look pretty even now. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a really big pupil in there, just like that. I'm going to draw another really big pupil in that side, just like that. And I'm going to draw my little white highlight here and then my little white highlight right here. And I'm going to shade all of this in so that it's totally filled in, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a whole lot of black until all I have is kind of like a little bitty highlight that's like in the shape of a moon, like a little moon in there. See, that's like a little highlight that's like the shape of a moon. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And now both sides look like they just have a tiny little smiley face or a tiny little crescent moon in there. Now the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to draw this guy's nose. So his nose is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be wider at the top. So I'm going to have a pretty wide nose just like that. So you can see this is a lot wider than most of the noses that I make. And then it's going to go down. It's going to be pretty square just like that. Then I'm going to have two little nostrils. So one here and one here. And then I'm going to shade in this nose, but I'm going to leave some highlights. So what I want to do is I'm going to leave a little highlight right here. So all I did was I made like a little tiny triangle in there. I'm going to make another little tiny triangle right here. And then I'm going to make a little highlight there and a little highlight there. So these don't look like highlights yet, but I'm going to shade everything in. So now if I had more of like a marker that was darker than this one, then I would want to like make these two little circles dark. I actually just went totally over them. I'm going to try and make them darker just by going over them again. Since you're doing this in pencil, you can shade them darker and it should look better. 
but I, I'm doing it in pen. So it's a little bit harder for me to control how dark these go. So I'm hoping that now we can at least see that there's like a little bit of nostril here and here, and the rest of it is all pretty dark. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this guy a pretty big smile. I'm gonna start that smile about in line with the edge of that eye. And I'm gonna do a straight line. I'm gonna curve down. And I'm not gonna connect this up with the nose like I usually do. I'm gonna have it right underneath. So now I have a smiley and now I'm gonna continue it to this side, just like that. Now he has a perfect little sloth smile. And then I'm just gonna give him a little bitty chin. And all I did to make that chin was a couple of little dashes. They're quick dashes. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and give our sloth his little, I would call them like a bandit face mask. That's, that's the word I'm looking for, a mask. So sloths all have this mask that goes over both eyes and then the rest of their face is very light. So I'm gonna go around that eye and you can see I added a couple of little flicks right there. So a couple of little pointies. So it's just like I made a C around that eye and then I'm going to make it a little bit more flat right here. And then I'm gonna have it come down next to that mouth, just like that. So right now it's kind of like the letter S. And then I'm gonna have this come down like this. I'm gonna make it a little bit squiggly. And then I'm gonna go over to the other side now and I'm gonna basically make the same shape and join it right here. So now I'll go over to this eye make a couple of little points like that so that it looks fuzzy. Go through that little space between the eye and the nose and make it round and then join it back with this portion that is the chin down here. And if you want, you don't have to make this squiggly. You can make it straight across if you'd like. I'm just kind of making it look a little bit more like he's fuzzy. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to bring those little bandit eye patches so that they go all the way over here. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then I'm gonna bring them down and down. So now I have those. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shade them in, but I'm gonna avoid the space around the eyes so that we can still see where they are. Because if we made it all dark, it would be very hard to see those eyes. So I'm just gonna quickly shade all that in. I'll even draw a little line around the eye so that I know where I'm gonna avoid. There we go. Then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna connect it right there. Right where that little pointy is. So now it looks like there's a little bit of a line that goes around the eye that's like the shape of a C. Now I'm gonna go over to my other side and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna draw around my eye so I know where to avoid. I'm gonna come down. And then I know I'm gonna connect it right at that little point there. And I'll just go ahead and I'll shade the rest in. Here we go. Perfect. Now that I have that portion done, I can go ahead and continue and draw the top of his face. So that's gonna come right off of here. So right about here, looks like I'm continuing this round line. I'm gonna go up and then right, right here, I'm gonna start making these little pieces that kind of make this hairy part. 
So I want you to watch pretty close. So I'm going to do a zigzag. The points go this way, then they go up, and then they go back this way. Then they come back down. And then it goes down like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a couple of extras in there. Just so it looks extra fuzzy. There we go. So now he looks kind of like a funny little head. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw the rest of his head. And that's really going to be the simplest part of this whole thing. I'm going to come out. I'm going to go over. Go down. Just like that. And then I'm going to go down on this side, just like that. And then I can go in and I can start adding all of my details. So all of my hairlines on this side are going to go down, but you'll notice that I'm starting to curve them. So I'm starting to move them so that they're going the same direction as this right here. Then I'm going to start moving them even more. So I'm going up, I'm going to go diagonal, then they're going to start going over, and then they're going to start really going diagonal. And then they're going to go totally up again. And now you see they're straight up here. Then you see I start turning them so that they go this way. And I like to tell my students that hair kind of moves in the same direction as a clock. So like this would be the middle of the clock. This would be like 12 o'clock. And then this would be like one o'clock. It starts going two o'clock and then it goes downwards. And the same thing on this side, it's just like a clock. It all turns. And that's typically how you'll find that the hair on any animal goes. And then down here, I'm going to have it so that it kind of is going straight down. And then I'm going to have it come back in. This is where we kind of break that rule that I said about the clock. The clock is really only for fur that's on the face. Then down here, it kind of breaks that rule and it starts going its own directions. And you'll see now I'm pointing this inwards. So it's like all of the hair is coming to like a V right here. But it's straight down over here. And then we're going to go straight down over here. And then right in the middle, we'll just have it kind of go downwards like that. So that's how you would draw the clock, or not the clock. I'm sorry about that. That's how you would draw the sloth all by himself. But the sloth that I was talking about that's really popular with a whole lot of people is actually a sloth that has glasses on. So I'm going to draw glasses. I'm not so sure how well we're going to be able to see them with this marker, but I am going to draw them. And if you would like to follow along, I would encourage you to do so. So the glasses on my painting are starting right about here. So like right in line with that black part. And you'll see I'm going to make a little curve like that. And then they go like this. And they're literally just like straight across there. So you see I'm making a pretty thick line. And then over here at the edge, they start to curve back down. So now you see I just have this long line. It has a little edge here and then it has a little edge here. And then I'm going to come down. And those glasses are going to come across here.
It's basically just like a big rounded rectangle. Just like that. Then I would have a piece in the middle, just like that. And then I would have another piece over here. It would be just like my first one. And then I'm gonna make another big thick line that's gonna go over to the other side of the face. There we go. And then I'm gonna have a piece that goes down like this. And then I'm gonna make the other part of these glasses. This one you'll be able to see better because it's not quite meeting that little piece right there. And I'm just gonna make my big rounded rectangle. And there you have it. We have a little sloth with glasses and I think he looks pretty cute. I hope your sloths came out well and I hope that I can see some posted in the comments.